Next joining us is from the Kiwanis Club of Jackson, Joe Wolf. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> good morning. Whoa, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, it's our favorite time of the year. It is. It's it is. Kiwanis newspaper sale. Um, this is our hundred and fifth Kiwanis newspaper sale. That's unbelievable. I've been here for almost half of them. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. How long have you been in the Kiwanis Club? Uh, since 1971. So what's that? 52 years. Wow. Good. Gravy. Yeah. That's a long time. I How many know. of these do you think you've sold over that time? Oh my gosh, I have no <laughs> idea. Um, we. Uh, used to print 10,000, now we're printing 5,000 of them. Okay. Um, but it's still, you know, it's a, it's a chore to sell them. It's all about the fun and service uh, yeah. at Kiwanis. So what's been, uh, what's been fun, uh, some of the fun ways you guys have served over the last little bit? Well, the front page of the paper kind of tells the story of uh, bikes that we donate for uh, elementary school reading contests. March is reading month, yep. so during the month of March, we encourage kids to read. Um, yeah. Those are, and, and there were uh, and 28 elementary schools that received 96 bikes and wow. helmets. Yeah, cost is about 15000 I was going to say that's no small cost. Well, the Meyer stores uh, are very, very generous, and they help discount those sure. for these, uh, you know, gifts for the kids. But uh, each school has different contests, so it, it, depending upon how many books you read, uh, your name gets into a pot, and then the pot, you know, eventually it's drawn out, and mm -hmm. you know, John Smith wins a bike, and everybody's pretty happy. You guys were able to give over eighty-five thousand dollars to uh, area charities yes. and nonprofits. That's quite an amount. Yeah, yeah. Well, we work hard for it. Uh, between the newspaper sale, we have a winter golf outing um, every year, and at the very end of January in the snow, first golf outing in Michigan. Um, and then we have our flag program, which runs, oh, from Memorial Day through Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, between those fundraisers, we make quite a bit of money. And then, you know, we are nonprofit, so any money we make goes right back into the community. It's yeah. it's a win-win for everybody, and we have fun doing it. Yeah. In fact, you had your annual Christmas skit last week, which yes. I heard was very funny. Uh, it was pretty good. We did a takeoff on Happy Days. And our president, uh, Nate Mahan, took the role of Fonzie, and Fonzie lost his mojo, but with the help of, you know, the rest of the kids at the malt shop, and um, <laughs> we, we employed Madame Rue with her love potion, and he was able to get his mojo back. It was That's a pretty funny. good show, yeah. yeah. On the cutting edge of pop culture. You That's guys. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What's kept you in the Kiwanis organization for over 50 years, John? Well, first of all, it's, 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 a, you know, it's a fun group of people. Uh, we are apolitical. We don't talk about politics. Mm -hmm. We love each other, and we love our community. And it, it's just fun doing good things for others. You feel mm -hmm. good. That's our mojo. Yeah. if you will um, and you know throughout the years uh, you just meet so many wonderful people the lady that helps put this together Eileen Leonard you might know that name she oh, was yeah. the editor of the sit pat uh, retired she's now moved to Florida I'm gonna miss her dearly because she helped put this together and uh, I'm going to have to do it by myself next year. So we don't know what kind of product we're going to have next year. <laughs> well, there but is, uh, it's possible she could do it. She remote. could do it Well, she can do it remote. Yeah, well, actually she did this year because yeah. she was in Florida already. But, uh, and, and I think we'll uh, convince her to stay on. Uh, even though she won't be officially a member, she'll still yeah. contribute because she loves Jackson, loves the community. Um, and, and this product is, is really good. It tells about all the good stuff Kiwanis does. So when you buy a Kiwanis newspaper, it's going to be this Friday, by the way, is the sale, okay. December 15th. And we'll be all over I was going to say, where can we buy them and support? Well, we'll be you know, at Walmart, Sam's. Uh, we'll be downtown, uh, different places. Um, you'll find us. We'll find you. And uh, any donations appreciated. And it all goes into, you know, a nice pot that buys things like bikes for kids and shoes and boots. Uh, uh, we spent uh, actually over 8000 uh, The paper just says 8000 but it was almost eighty, almost 9000 that we spent on shoes and boots okay. uh, for needy kids. Yeah. And 
No, I mean, you look at some of the things that you guys have participated in. Um, anything from a Lego club to Girl Scouts, of course, mm -hmm. the John George Home, yeah. Big Brothers, Big Sisters, uh, nonprofits helping nonprofits. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, and the other the other thing we uh, mentioned the front page shows about the bicycle program and reading. We supply dictionaries to every third grader in Jackson County. Perfect. So there's over 1,400, 1400 dictionaries that we distributed. And um, I just got a note from the dictionary company that we buy these from. We've distributed almost 38,000 dictionaries over, I forgot how many years now. Um, and Eileen Leonard, who I mentioned earlier, was the person who came up with the idea of giving free dictionaries to third graders. So, and that's going to continue on and on. So, we're trying to encourage reading um, and, you know, build leadership uh, through, you know, uh, children today because those will be our future leaders. Joe has been in Kiwanis Club for 53 years. 53 years. Something years. like you, that. How, how, you've been the, the secretary. You've been an officer in the club. It, well, yeah, it's a temporary position. I, <laughs> um, I took, took it on in 1982. <laughs> I'm still f trying to find a replacement. But kind of the nice thing about being secretary is you do know everybody in the club. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where being the secretary, you're kind of the go-to person. So you, you know every member in the club. You know what their strengths and weaknesses are. You know how to kind of fit them into different slots for projects. And it's, it's been a really rewarding 50-some um, years. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have members that have been in the club for longer than you have. Yes, we do. Do you have, uh, who's your oldest member? Well, you know, I think it's either Dr. Jim Schindler, who joined in 1959, um, or Howard Patch, and I don't recall what year he joined, but. Those are the two oldest that mm -hmm. I can recall. And you have an, a, a, a lady that's one of the oldest members. Well, we have a, a lady, uh, Pat Kiesling, who um, I don't remember how many years I she is, but, but she's 90-some yeah. years she's old. She's amazing. I saw Pat Kiesling at the dentist yesterday. <laughs> she, she's amazing. You can't stop her. She's 96, no. maybe? Yeah, she's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, she's got more energy than the energy Energizer Bunny. Well, you guys keep it at it, and um, thanks for all you do. It's amazing, yeah. and thanks for coming in today. Okay, thanks, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, watch for these newspapers uh, all over town, the Kiwanis Club of Jackson's Joe Wolf. The morning show wraps up right after this.